So either due to inadequate fueling or just the sheer duration of an event, an athlete may draw down their glycogen levels so low, they may draw down the carbohydrate stores so low that they reach glycogen depletion. And this is what athletes oftentimes describe as the bonk. Um, it usually comes with symptoms of extreme fatigue, uh, really low blood sugar and some disorientation, some nausea. Um, very detrimental to athletic performance and honestly very dangerous for the athlete's body. One of the tests that the athletes underwent in our research study is the test to exhaustion. Uh, we controlled their nutritional intake prior to the test and we set them at an intensity of about 75% of VO2 peak, uh, which is oftentimes very close to a race pace for a long endurance event. We withheld any calories during this time. They could drink water and many of these athletes lasted anywhere from 90 minutes to over two hours. In addition to periodically measuring fuel utilization, we also measured the athlete's blood glucose levels, which continually dropped over the course of the endurance test. We also measured blood lactate levels, which is a way for us to tell the appropriate intensity for the athlete, as well as a measure of a glycogen depletion towards the end of the test. During an event, it's important to continually take in carbohydrates um, at a rate that is as close as possible to your rate of energy expenditure without upsetting your gastric system. Sports nutrition companies have the unique challenge of maximizing an athlete's ability to absorb various different kinds of fuels. Even within carbohydrates, there are diverse forms of carbohydrates. Um, so maximizing the different pathways that a person's gut has of absorbing these fuels um, can maximize the amount of energy an athlete can take in during an event. Our goal is to demystify sports nutrition in ways where age group and elite level athletes can take that information and apply it to their own circumstance. We had trail runners who were getting most of the way through a 100 mile trail run, uh, but were having uh, issues with uh, digesting solid foods. And so it was through that curiosity that we came up with a gel-like form and a simplified nutrition structure to get nutrients into the body. Um, that curiosity remains with us today, 22 years later, and the Goo Endurance Lab is a manifestation of that curiosity.